Some of the, the bigger characters you can use, uh, you know, the, the spade is what one with a sharp shot, sharp shot as you call them. There the, the shoes were to go on ice. Hey, who, who's got this one? Huh? I've got this one. Uh, Billy didn't got that one, I'm pretty sure she has. And I got this one yet. No. Is this a little metal too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I had that for a while, and I had it in my bathroom on the back of the stool for a long time. Mm -hmm. Then I gave it back mm -hmm. to him. So. <laughs> that sure took a lot of strips of iron. And yeah. Uh, this represent cord, but had iron about that wide. She yeah, put I, that on. <coughs> I bet it took 40 feet of iron. 40 feet? Really? Yes. You know, yeah, each, around, each and then the, the floor, and the top, and the seat. Yeah. <laughs> You put that on the antique road show and see what uh -huh. <laughs> it's an estimate what it's oh, worth. That's right. <laughs> there's there's other they make them out of lots of things now. Jim makes them out of horseshoe nails. You seen that? No. Made no characters out of horseshoe nails. Okay. That's my And uh, he's made it out of other stuff. Jim Kim Show. Oh. Not, not the center line. Oh, I thought you meant Jim Clausen. No. Okay, yeah. Not Jim Jim, yeah. Jim has made the, the, the wire art and, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Cool. <laughs> Kelly, they were telling about digging fences, digging the holes. Ted had to stand on the on the auger so it would have some weight, so and then he'd get augered into the holes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. My feet would go around in a hole like that, so I thought that was, <laughs> if he was oh, nine, I was five. Is that down again when I'm here? That's not a lot of weight. If you're only five, you're not going to add a lot of weight to it. Well, yeah. I thought I was big. The trouble said I should. You do what those big brothers tell you to do, right? <laughs> you got pictured all them other things you used to make. <laughs> Like leading you down the corn row. Yeah. <laughs> leading you down the corn row? Yeah. Yes, I got you something down here. Show me. Oh, we missed it. Come on back. It's back this way. <laughs> and then the covered lightly over with, a, with dust. With a, he could do the roundest, biggest old logs. And he thought, what's it? And that with your bare feet. <laughs> Call out a flare bug. <laughs> You heard him talk about dirty start. <laughs> yeah. you, talk, you heard about the story about the flitter bug? Flitter bug? Yeah. You know what a flitter bug is? Well, this, the traveling salesman was going down the road. Nobody in sight, but he had to go real bad. So he sits down beside the road. And by the time he was done, here was a car come up the road. Stop, he said. He said, What you got? He, he had put his hat over it. <laughs> oh, he said, I caught a flitter bug. Oh. A flitter bug? What is a flitter bug? <laughs> well, I'll raise up my hat a little bit and you each and grab it. <laughs> <laughs> he raised his hat up. The guy grabs it. He said, you got it? You got it? He said, yeah, I got it, but I crushed every bone in his body. I don't believe it. O-Cell, O apostrophe, capital S-E-L-L. Either, get the Oh, I'm sorry. Enoch. Okay. E yeah, just the old biblical name. E N O C H. Sure. Okay, awesome. Okay. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> you did. What did, what did he think? What does he think? Got to be 365 years old. Mm. And you're trying for it too, aren't you? <laughs>
<laughs> Don't you want to hang around for another 300 years? Oh boy, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, think what the price of gas will be then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and can I get your name? Evangeline. Okay. E V A N. E V A N. A. A. N. G E L. L I N E. L I. Yep, yeah, Okay, sure. Yep. And Kittleson? Uh, Barbara. I'm Kittle. sorry. Barbara now. Oh, okay, Barbara. Okay. Mm -hmm. Barbara like in hair Barbara? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Evangeline Kittleson Barbara. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm Norman. Okay. <clears throat> you know when you got born? Oh, I'm so happy she had to find the biggest name. I'm Truman. <laughs> I'm Truman. 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 Nothing okay. was good enough, but the biggest thing. I was named after George Washington. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he was older than Two hundred years after George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> and you were killed too. Yeah. Right. He hasn't gotten here. Oh. Okay. Okay. How many Kittlesons are in the phone book? Do you think? In, in How many? The, in the local phone book. Okay. There Not so many. Nine of us. Oh, really? Reached to the have ways to catch up with the old system trend, right? Okay. <laughs> um, well, uh, boy, does somebody want to first summarize what we'll, what we're going to be having featured here? Here's, here's, at here's the center? Uh, okay. This is the one we blame it all. Yeah, okay. I'm afraid so. <laughs> well, by the way, are, are most of you from Martin County now, or is somebody from another county? Or? Uh, yes, there's some cities. Oh, okay. I'm the only one that's out of the area. Okay. Oh, you're yeah, from we're all in Chester. County. Chester, okay. okay. Yeah. Everybody yeah. else is Martin County? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Esther, do you want to go ahead? No, Esther, you're, uh, are you a sister of Ted? And yeah, yeah, okay. we're all brothers sisters. Okay, every one of you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, who were your parents? Uh, uh, Gilbert and Anna. Okay, A-N-N-A? -N -N -A? Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, okay. Yeah. Oh, you guys grew up around... Ceylon, welcome, or Ceylon? Ceylon, yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Lake Belt Township. Lake Belt, okay. Yeah. Section three. Section three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's never been the same since. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and I guess I guess the first thing that I'd like to comment on is that you know there's a lot of talented families in the area mm -hmm. all around, mm -hmm. and so. We're pretty humbled, yeah. you know, to be picked to do this. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, we don't feel like we're that much different from many others out there. So mm -hmm. that's the that's the first thing I kind of wanted to make. Someone from Red Rock um, Center contacted you about? Yeah, they come. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mary Don contacted. Oh, Mary Don. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. And what will you be featuring or showing here? Um, I know you're going to perform here, right? There's right. Nothing. Music, of course. Yeah, the exhibit is going to have everything from uh, bronze sculpture to oil and acrylic paintings mm -hmm. to collages of old Packards. <laughs> 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 My dad had a Packard at one time. <laughs> and uh, oh, there's some woodworking. Um, my brother, oldest brother, did a lot of woodworking with walnut when he was retired, so he had walnuts saved. And his son now has been using some of that walnut, and he's made a, a string bass oh that he plays out of the walnut. Um, what am I missing? I mean, there's there. It's a lot of of different media, a lot mm -hmm. of different media of art. Mm -hmm. There's books. Uh, Norman's son is a is a professor out in California mm -hmm. in uh, vet medicine. And he's got a text that he has written, and it's been transcribed into Japanese and English and Spanish. And um, we have um, other, a lot of other publication type things. Uh, my list is over there. <laughs> and then the music. Pardon? And then the music. Yeah, and then and then the concert itself would be music. These these guys, when well, I think probably all of us probably had occasion when we were little to partake in the home talent shows. And uh, Ted and Norman, they you know really went on with that yeah. and became band people, <laughs> making Million the Saddle Pals. And Norman after that with Country Sir. Mm -hmm. The Million and Saddle Pals, that was a regular show on KSU? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it was on frequently, I 
Right here. Right here. Okay. Every Saturday. It was five or six years, from 52 to uh, 59. Okay. Seven years. Yeah, I think, I think I heard it was seven. Thank you. Yeah. How would you spell Millie? Uh, M I L L I E. I E. Okay, man. Several pals, two words. Yeah. 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 And from there, why Ted's kids have become the BKs, no, no. and there's a lot of a lot of other branches grand, then that, that grand, have. A lot of grandkids yeah. are musicians, I would say. Right. And Herb's Herb's kids, the older the older brother, his kids now have a, a gospel group. They call themselves the Forward Followers, and they'll be performing that yeah. night. Herb is another sibling. He's, of yeah, he's passed away. Oh, okay. And he was the oldest. Oh, how many children were there in the family? Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, okay. And how many are, are still living? Six. Six. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm used to big farm families, but <laughs> not 14. So. I guess it, basically, I guess that's what we are. You know? yeah. <laughs> Black lead dirt. Um, and um, boy, this must have taken a lot of organizi organizing just to talk to one another and decide what you were going to bring here to to show, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's been kind of the fun part because when I you know, talk to each one and I go to see them about what they've got, they've got their <laughs> they've got their scrapbooks and they've got their boxes and they've got all of these things they haven't looked at for a while. So it's been really fun. It's been really good that we've been able to dig out the old memories. <laughs> so. You've got to look at old Matt Dillon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. You can't miss it. Yeah. Yeah. If you remember old Matt. Oh no, I I, I he's I, I, I like. Gunsmoke is one of my favorite shows. Yeah. They used to show the black and white shows on cable TV about five years ago, but they stopped doing that. I, right. I enjoyed those too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Ted has done that horseshoe art. And he's going to be displaying quite a few pieces of that. So. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's Schroeder's uh, photography. Oh, about Schroeder. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> has this been a lot of fun preparing for this set? Exhibit of uh, the showing. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to ask Esther. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. <laughs> see if they're going to throw apples at you or something or tomatoes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, all of them have been very creative, uh, mm -hmm. building in you know in building even. Uh, mm -hmm. Truman has built a, a whole farmstead of uh, beautiful buildings out there with salvage. Norman has created a beautiful bed and breakfast out of oh, yeah. an old inn. And Enoch took a silo and made it into, what, four floors? Five, five floors. Three apartments. Three apartments. Oh, where is that? It's right north of Sherman. Oh, okay. You can see it from my yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, Where did you come up with your creative flair? Were your parents? Uh, it was, a necessity. it was a necessity. We didn't have nothing when we was kids, so we had to, we wanted it, we had to make it. You didn't go to the toy store and buy it. You spent all the time in the junk box to make it. <laughs> there was an author, I think, who wrote a book, and in the book he said that these are, these are the worst times and the best times. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's probably how it was with us. Um, we uh, we weren't poor. We just didn't have any money. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a um, a coupon saw blade or a or a hacksaw blade was a treasure because we could make something then. Mm -hmm. And uh, we made our own um, uh, entertainment and we made our uh, everything. And uh, Dad always taught us that. Uh, we had to work hard, and uh, we shouldn't throw anything away that could be used again. Or, uh, uh, and uh, Mom uh, was our uh, music teacher. She was singing all the time. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, she told me once that one of the very first words I spoke was, uh, sing it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did did any of your parents play the guitar and sing? Uh, yeah. Ted was the first one to get a guitar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Me and we spent both our money. We pooled our our, uh, our trapping money until we got seventeen dollars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And which ones played the the guitar? Uh, the three? Uh, well, we all of them. Okay. Yeah. Ted.
Ted and Norm and, and I Truman. Give him a lot of play the guitar? Yeah. I tried to string the bass. Okay. But he carried a guitar all through, what, England and North Africa? Yeah. I, uh, I bought a guitar in Ireland for $5. And at the time we were shipped to North Africa, I, I kept that guitar with the, on the ship because we were on the water probably uh, more, more days than a lot of Marines were. But we had a, we had a boy that could sing, play and sing real good. <laughs> And that was the main reason why I, I kept that guitar. Okay. Well, when, when we were sent to the front in Tunisia, I carried that guitar on my back. And uh, at one point, uh, I don't know if it was Eisenhower or one of the bigger generals, passed by, and then he turned around and looked. And I knew he was looking at that guitar, but <laughs> I didn't care, I kept it with me. Sure. But when things got real rough, I laid that guitar under a cactus bush, <laughs> and, uh, and that, and I'm sure the the arrows must have thought it was a booby trap, you know, <laughs> because uh, that, yeah. that's about the yeah. way the story went. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when in Seattle took over on the troop ship in, in Japan, in occupation of Japan, and <clears throat> every night in the barracks, um, especially on Saturday night when the boys had come back to the barracks uh, kind of lo loaded. By the, they'd grab that guitar off the wall and throw it at me and, hey, Kip, play! <laughs> and we'd sit there till 2 o'clock in the morning playing and singing, and my fingers <laughs> got so sore they bled. Yeah. <laughs> I should have got the Purple Heart. <laughs> you were wounded, weren't you? <laughs> we're a trip back back to the U.S. to uh, let your fingers recover. Well, you didn't have a pick at the time, maybe, right? You didn't have a guitar pick at the time. A, a guitar pick. Yeah, oh, I don't remember. I probably, you know. You, uh, <laughs> this, this was at the uh, one that I sent you, that cowboy sings. Okay, the history of that guitar, I think, was with the Palmers. And uh, was it James? Not James, but uh, what was his other uh, name? Uh, Dewey. Whoa. Dewey and... Uh, we got it on Iwo Jima. That's where, that's where he got killed. And then afterwards, his mother advertised his guitar for sale for, mm -hmm. for two dollars. I bought that, and I sent it to you while you were in West Coast. And that's when you carried it all. It said "Cowboy Sings" on it, and a kind of picture of a an ornate picture on it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Is that the one you had? I know I sent you one. <coughs> that's got to be the one. <laughs> You were, you were asking before about our parents as far as musical. Um, I don't remember my dad playing violin, but the older the older mm -hmm. kids here do. And then he played but an accordion. Mm -hmm. So, and he always made sure that we had, well, he, I don't know if he made sure, but we had mm -hmm. phonograph and records and such like that. There was, there was instruments around. Mm -hmm. So that, you know. But uh, your, your, uh, well, Mom and her brothers had a band. Oh, okay. yeah, before that. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your sister in law says you guys could tell it from the other side. <laughs> from the poppy side. From the poppy side. Yeah. Okay. They, they had a bit of a band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They played for dances and like hit a string uh, fiddle and bass. And, uh, mm -hmm. Mother played the organ. Played, played oh, organ. Oh, yeah. 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 your mom played the organ? Yeah. yeah the, in church or we got at a home? Or? No, at home. We got a picture. <coughs> I, I, have, I have her organ that she plays oh, okay. on. Did you ever get to hear them? I never did get to hear your uncles. 
Did you ever hear Herman or... or, uh, or uh, no, I don't. I don't uh, tell the truth. But there's a, there's a picture of all of them, you know, yeah. with their instruments. And Uncle, uh, I guess it was Uncle Charlie. Yeah. See, Louis sits there with a banjo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he says, Louis never did to play, get to play that damn thing. He never did learn to play that damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> They played for barn dances, and of course we we was we was such uh, pious kids. We shouldn't go to barn dances. We were protected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who played at barn dances? Who performed? Our uh, our uncles. Oh, your yeah. uncles. Also on the poppy side. On the yeah. poppy side. Our yeah. mother, our mother with her brothers, they had they had a band that they played at the barn dances. With. Was there a band name they kept for quite a few years? Or? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they, they had a name or not. They were just yeah. Poppy Brothers. Yeah, it was the Poppy Brothers. Was it? Mm -hmm. Poppy Brothers. Yeah, there, I found one little newspaper article oh, that has okay. that has mention of them and where whoever wrote the article was wishing that they had had the talent that those Poppy Boys did oh. when they were playing at the barn dances. So, <laughs> um, yeah. yes. um, um, what was the, uh, oh, you know, as you, as you got out of your childhood, did some of you keep on? Your involvement with craftsy type stuff, or <laughs> <laughs> what them. kind of stuff? Craft, Craft. type stuff. Uh, after you were out of childhood, or... okay. Sure, you you've been re redoing cars and tractors. Oh yeah, well, that's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Remodeling houses and <laughs> quilting. Yeah, Benji does a lot of quilting and a lot of handwork. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. I still have the King's girl press that I made when I yeah. was a teenager. I made the, all the, the V belt, the v, v pulleys. Mm -hmm. I made out of wood, mm. made a lathe, and turned the pulleys or the, or the drill press. When you, have to, when you got a drill press, you have to have a, a, a slotted a shaft with a keyway that'll right up and down, you know, for the pulley to ride on. Okay. We had to build a, a keyway in a shaft. A five-eighth, three-quarter inch shaft, not so long. And how did we do it? Build a hole in a pipe. The press flattened a, a drill bit, a quarter-inch drill bit. I got to turn it while you pushed that shaft. <laughs> that was our milling machine. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, yeah. and, he fi and he finished it out with a file. Yeah. Yeah. That was the automatic shift. It, it's still, he still got that. Yeah. Thing. Huh? Yeah. That was all that. He was the automatic shift to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he should tell you about the electric toothbrush he invented. He, he made the first electric toothbrush. Who did that? Truman. Oh, okay, Truman. Yeah, yeah. he melted. He, he gathered up brush. all the old aluminum kettles and oh. pans or every, every aluminum he could find and put them in the furnace, in, in the house furnace, and melted them down oh. and poured them into a, a mold and then put them on a like a turning lathe and he turned out a a, a form that would in, would enclose a little brush and then fasten on to an electric motor, a little mm -hmm. six-volt electric motor, mm -hmm. the, like old uh, fan motor. <laughs> and he got it all made, and uh, I was there when he put the toothpaste on the brush, <laughs> and he put it in his mouth, and I connected the, the wires to the battery, <laughs> and it was and the toothpaste flew all over the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> that was one little item you had to modify, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Has that thing ever showed up again? Have you, have you? No, I think it got burned in the house burning. Oh. Yeah, it was, I, no, it was up in the cupboard. <laughs> but but I, I wanted to get the patent office search for, uh, see if there was a one at the patent office. <coughs> So I wanted to borrow some money, and my dad wouldn't, he wouldn't give me the money. Mm -hmm. He said, they'll just get their whiskers wound up in that thing. 
<laughs> could be art on a mustache. Huh? <laughs> well, they put the same thing with your other invention, that, that uh, variable, that automatic transmission. The transmission, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tractor. He intended it for a car. Okay. It was uh, V belts running up and down on the shaft like a like mm -hmm. they do on a on a combine variable speed. Mm -hmm. He had a model of that forty years before the combine oh. had it. Jeez. And what did you do to what did you do with your design? Well, first I hitchhiked to uh, Detroit, Michigan. I thought I could see Henry Ford get him interested. Mm. Well, he wasn't there, so I come back. Uh, but I started out with, I think, $13 hitchhiking to Detroit. Mm. Well, when I got home, I still had 50 cents. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> the first night I spent in the, in a, uh, some, some town in Iowa when the Gone was the wind was showing, mm. and that was a four-hour show. So I spent four hours at, at the theater, and then I started hitchhiking again. Yeah. And, uh, but I could, uh, I could get a room for fifty cents, you know, at, at night, and mm. so the last, the last, the last time I, I shacked up with somewhere in Ames, Iowa, I think it was, and I got a room for 50 cents. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I charged, I, um, I joined the Chartered Institute of American Inventors, and they would, they, they said if I would send them a copy of my of my um, automatic ship that they would they would improve on the drawing and then they would send it around to anybody who they thought might be interested in buying that idea well in the meantime in the meantime I was drafted into the army so I never, I never heard anything more of it until I got home, and I was looking in a magazine, and here it showed a picture of the, the car that uh, it was made in Sweden, the Volvo, the Volvo automobile, and they had this automatic shift. So. I just let it go at that, but recently I've been trying to find a record of what the, what that Chartered Institute of American Inventors had have done, hmm. and uh, I, I haven't had very good luck. Uh, <coughs> some of you guys are pretty mechanically inclined, aren't you? I mean, I've known Ted for years working on restoring the antique machinery. And, yeah. Should we talk a little about a little bit about the artwork you'll be showing? Uh, uh, you know, we yeah, touched on it a bit already. Your artwork. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'll be Ted's horseshoe artwork, and it'll be Howard's wall and Herbert's wallet. Oh, who's the other one? The oldest brother oh, has okay. passed away. There's a little bit of his, but we've got. Uh, paintings by Billy Jane Cruz, Ted's daughter, mm -hmm. and we've got uh, other artwork from some of Herb's family. Okay. Uh, Truman's daughter, Kathy, has done a lot of uh, pastel and acrylic work, so oh, we'll have some of that. How do you spell Kathy? Uh, how do you spell Kathy? With a K or a C? K. With a K. K. Okay. And it's, her last name is Sulik, S-U-L-I-K. Okay. And uh, she's a uh, professor out in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. She teaches mm -hmm. uh, first-year students uh, anatomy. Would that be the University of North Carolina? Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's uh, also involved in fetal alcohol mm -hmm. uh, research. So we've got some publications and things from her too. Oh, 
There's some sculpture, the bronze sculpture, which Banji's daughter, or Banji's son, Jeff, does. He's, he's done bronze sculpture for a lot of interesting people, including mm -hmm. Kirk Douglas, mm -hmm. and I don't know, a lot of, uh, there's some up in the hospitals and different places up in the cities. There's mm -hmm. quite a few in different churches and uh, seminaries and things like that. Beautiful work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He and does, where he works out of where? Where is he living? At Goodhue, Minnesota, uh, which is north of Rochester. Mm -hmm. His address is Goodhue. He's got sculptures in the Bismarck and the Phoenix and yeah. Palm Beach, or not Palm Beach, Be, uh, mm -hmm. Desert, yeah. Palm Desert? Where's, where's, uh, Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And his name again is, uh, you've mentioned it, right? Jeff, Jeff Barber. Okay. Jeff, Jeff Barber. Barber. Jeff okay. Barber. Yeah. Yeah. He makes, uh, you're, you're going to have life size, you're life size sculpture. Well, life size, okay. Well, he's oh, yeah. going to bring some stuff. Good. I don't know what, mm -hmm. what he's yeah, bringing. Yeah, he's, he's bringing four that'll be on pedestal. Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, several little, little mm -hmm. pieces. But the pieces that he's done for what has gone out are really large. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right life, now he's life working size. on uh, the last surviving member of uh, flag raising on Iwo Jima. Oh, oh. Uh, his name was Lindbergh. He just died last fall. Yeah. But uh, he's doing a sculpture of him now. Mm -hmm. uh, of the flag raising or this, the individual man? No, the, indi the individual. They're doing a memorial okay. for him of some mm -hmm. sort. So. Oh, and the sculpture is made out of what material? Bronze. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Bronze. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bronze sculpture. Um, and we have a, a brother in law who does a lot of um, wire and stained glass work, so we'll be doing some of that. And there's a few books and a few records and cassettes. And did you get your propeller off? No, not, oh. not at all set. Hey. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ted and I made a um, ice plane. To go across, uh, ice plane to go across the lake oh, with, a, with an airplane propeller. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. I carved the propeller out of a four by six and uh, mounted it on a Model T motor and turned the motor upside down so we could get a low center of gravity and a high axle to, so the prop would clear the ice. Oh, and we had to have a low carburetor so we could sit on the gas tank and it didn't have to have a fuel pump. <laughs> <laughs> Was that work real good? <clears throat> was this a few years ago or recently? No, about years ago years when we were kids. We didn't know any better. <laughs> 1944. Oh, yeah. Uh, on the propeller is the, is the, made by Kittleson, Kittleson Brothers Corporation in November 1944. <laughs> 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 is this called what again? Kittleson Brothers. I mean, I mean the item. Ice boat. Ice, ice plane. Ice plane. <laughs> ice plane. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's the propeller. We, made it, we made it a lot across uh, uh, Temperature <coughs> in 30 seconds. I figured we went 90 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I came home on furlough in February of 46, and uh, we took it out on the lake. And the lake had uh, thawed a little bit and then refrozen, and it was real rough, you know. And we were flying around the, the lake. I was on the throttle, and, and uh, all at once down it went. And the propeller f broke, you know, flew all over. And I thought, sure, we were going through the ice. But what happened? A, a strut broke and let, the, let one ski down. Okay. And uh, so that watch remains of the propeller. That's what I'm bringing up. Yeah, he's he's okay. going to bring the propeller. Okay, okay. <laughs> a propeller to a nice boat. Yeah. Uh, Is that the right yeah. word? Okay. Yeah, an, yeah, an ice boat. Okay. Yeah. 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 And um, Billy, Jane, and then her daughter Leah do painting on clothing too, so they're bringing some jackets that they've done. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, how do you spell Billy? It's kind of different, isn't it? Dwight. Dwight, okay, like yeah. Billy Rapp, you spell that? When, and her daughter's first name is? Uh, Leah. 
L E A H. L E A H. Okay. L E A H. Yeah. And uh, they did this here mall work uh, that you see uh, back to the Sentinel back there. If you oh, drive yeah, 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 sure, yeah. By Jeff's. Yeah, that's their that's that's work. And then inside the building, they've got a lot of, yeah. lot of work that they've done, a lot, a lot of painting. That's the last work, man. Yeah. Put it in that big yeah, and to get the man, proportions. You've got to stand up on a scaffold. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, you guys are very diversified. You didn't just go after one mm -hmm. art medium. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's well. all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you didn't get rich. <laughs> <laughs> Back in your childhood days, they didn't have cable TV, so you couldn't be a child and sit around the house and do nothing. So. Who ever thought of TV in them days? <laughs> Could you get one channel, maybe, or not even that? Or, okay. Didn't they, uh, didn't have TV uh, in the oh. early '30s. Our dad got a radio. You know, it had uh, it had A, B, and C batteries. They had uh, the B batteries were quite big, and I think there was two or three of those. Of course, the A battery that was outside the house in the car. That was uh, a, the regular yeah, six volt battery, yeah. mm -hmm. and Dad stuck the wires in. And uh, we had radio. Mm -hmm. And we had listened to that crazy man, Hitler, mm -hmm. squeal at the top of his voice. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Really? Oh, it was mad, honest to be. Why, why did they broadcast him anyway? Well, <laughs> that's yeah, a good yell, question. He could yell like a crazy man. Oh, yeah. land good, he squealed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was when the year you were born, man, because I was six years old when, when he got the radio. And of course, Papa had control of it. The, <laughs> you know, the, all the, the H.V. Cotton Vaughn edits the news, and of course, later, later on, there was Lowell Thomas you know, on the news, and that's that's when it was turned on. We did get to listen to the ghost of Lake Tapaho later yeah. on, <laughs> from Omaha, WOW. And uh, there was a radio station that um, a patent medicine company had um, tried to broadcast and advertise their medicine over the radio in the United States and they got banned because it was was a fake or, or fraud or, or uh, probably not the right word but anyhow they moved into Mexico just across the border and they would broadcast all that good country music remember that yeah, that's yeah man it just Hour after hour of it, we listen to that good country yeah. music from Mexico. Yeah. Dr. J.R. Brixby and his prostate uh, operation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that carried all over. Uh, Stu Clayton, remember, here is another from Canada. You know, that, uh, from Dr. Mexico, Brinkley. From Mexico. Oh, yeah. Dr. Brinkley. And, and they had, yeah, they had cowboy songs and what, what the, is not all country music. Yeah. And that's the only time you could hear that. Yeah. And I think I was, yeah, I think I learned my first cowboy song when I was six years old. Mm -hmm. and at that time, when we could have the radio at night and listen to the border sure. stations. <laughs> when you weren't working on okay. <laughs> When was the first time you got a vehicle rather than a horse and buggy? Dad got a 1917 Model T, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dad got a, a brand new Model T in 1917. Brand new Model T. Really? Yep. And when I was in Detroit, I had to take a ride in one of them. Because I remember us kids sat in the back seat. And our dad, he was turning around more than he was up on the road. We were getting up there to start feet on that nice shiny. <laughs> <laughs> After it got older, well, they brought that. Yeah, wow. it just fit in the back of the pickup, just barely. <laughs> you, did you stop there? Yeah, yeah. I got mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I remember when Dad got the first old Fordson tractor. I, I must have been about six years old, but I, he had a little plow on behind it, and he st started it up, and he got on the seat, and he let out the clutch, and he went down the road, uh, plowing, and uh, he come to the end of the field, and um, he didn't turn the steering wheel, but he 
got confused or something, and he started yelling, whoa, 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 and <laughs> on the steering wheel. The tractor went to the end of the field, down in a road ditch, and up the other side, and come back down again, before he got it stopped. This one didn't take long enough. six years old, you was three years old. Three years old. That's that level of okay. yeah. yeah. I was about six years old when he had that gun. I can see it just as plain as day. <laughs> but say, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> But he tipped that thing over backwards on him, and we didn't know anything about it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That was that was an old John Deere. That was well. Did he do it before that again? When right. I was when I was home, he was working along the dredge ditch, and he went up one of the little I don't know little gullies where the water, yeah. I suppose where the the tile come out. And he and he came running home because he was covered with gas. And he had tipped, it had mm. tipped over backward on him. But did he, did he tip another one over besides mm. that? Well, I was wondering he if he tipped his tipped John Deere up when you saw it. Huh? You remember him tipping his John Deere up on him? Yeah, that was. That was the one, what's the one she's talking about? Yeah, no. yeah, that was the one. I was in the army yeah. at that time. Yeah. Hmm. Do you want to touch a little bit on the music you'll be presenting? Uh, yes, it'll be the Saddle Pals. And it'll be the Forward Followers. Uh, Ted's or Herbert's uh, four of his children mm -hmm. with the gospel group. Oh, you'll be performing? Yes, okay. yes. And then um, the BKs and however else, all the rest of the. Well, there's all kinds of there's, uh, groups in between there you can come up in. There, there's, uh, there's a, yeah, Skyline Citizen can't make it. They're all tied up with. Um, school and other things, so they can't, they can't get here. So it's going to be, it'll be the Saddle Pals, it'll be the Forward Followers, and then it'll be the BK and, and, and whatever groups of your kids can make it, and however they want to do it. So. I thought he's going to have loads and loads of them. There'll be, yeah, uh, well, uh, is uh, Kemp's going to get here? Mm. And his, with his kids? Can't oh, can uh, is are they're not coming? Um, yeah, Kelly said they they didn't think they could make it. Is so. he uh, at Wyndham or is he up in? He's in Wisconsin now. No. We're going to have tape of them playing. They'll be on the CD, hopefully, that will play in the background, but they won't be here in person. And we're hoping that Norman could play piano as well. Yeah, Norman's going to be playing piano during part of the prior yeah. background. Background. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to be uh, putting together a musical tape of a lot of a lot of the different talents, and that that would be playing when the building is open here, so that that way they get a little presentation. And then we're going to be putting a clip to, uh, together that'll be uh, could be viewed on the television, and that'll show things that we couldn't do otherwise with. Okay. Truman uh, made a windmill out of, uh, oh, you tell him, <laughs> you tell him about your windmill. We've got a tape of that. Well, it's kind of hard to explain. Oh, a different yeah. concept of, of wind energy. Uh, a a different concept of wind energy. A vertical shaft windmill with veins that <laughs> as they went around to catch the wind on the, on the power side. and This, this was a huge thing. It's, uh, it's uh, two, three story high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were a lot of objects that were too big to bring in. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it's easier to make the DVD and show that. It wouldn't fit in the car trunk. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know what, when you look back, G. Meyer, the family's creativity and willingness to be venturous and try to create things, I mean, you just, it seems like your family is very creative. Uh, you know, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, to all of you, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my first experiences was with, I tried perpetual motion. Yeah. Well, I finally got a design or an 
uh, the experiment thing. And then I wrote to the patent office. Could I get a patent on what I was making? They said, perpetual motion? Forget it. He said, it never worked, it never will work. So, I forgot that. But then, when I was in service, my dad, have you got a picture of that? I don't have it with me. My dad um, tried to uh, uh, design a, a, an object that, that like he... A room, he like that, a roulette that, wheel, was it? That, mm -hmm. that he, yeah, it was a, it's a... He had a wheel about four feet in diameter. And like the spokes on a on a wheel, he would he would have uh, he 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 had it designed so that he, he had this wheel would be enclosed, and a ball would you know. These are uh, tubes. Now he had he had uh, as many as he could put in this wheel. And then you'd have an axle in the middle, right? This would be more, more like this. But anyway, when this ball here would, would roll this way, this one would come back to the center. Mm -hmm. And as that wheel went around, mm -hmm. uh, it was supposed to. It was supposed to uh, make itself make itself go. And he carved the initial piece out. You have the you have the original frame yet. I have the original frame. Did he ever mm -hmm. try it? Do you know if it ever got it into working? I don't. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. think that he ever got it. Got it where he had. Uh, it was designed to take uh, like a pool table ball, mm -hmm. the size of a two pool table ball, Thank you. And, and you know they're quite heavy, so that they they would roll. So are you going to start on that now? We have to. We have to know if it works. We want it by February second. Yeah. Well, my plan. My plan is to to finish it. There you go. Then we would have a this wheel enclosed. With, the back would be have a plywood. No, no. The front would be plexiglass. So you you could watch and see it that mm -hmm. that turned. Uh, and you need ball bearings in the middle axle then to keep it moving. It, and yeah, yeah. It's got potential. I think we should do it. Oh, um, are you? You know, as far as the photo goes, I see the yep. the painting over there. Should we maybe? I don't know. Should we stand by it or put put it up on the table and have you stand it around it or? Which, which thing you talk about? The, 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 the lamplighter. The, yeah. Lamp they want a, a picture of yeah, yeah a picture of all of you oh, that for the paper. Yeah. She spent a lot of <laughs> man. She spent hours on that thing. Who, who painted that? Billy Jane. Oh, Billy Jane. Okay. Yeah. Jack Black. 
Should we? Uh, yeah, she, had, she had made commitments. I can't make stories up. <laughs> but when my little girl was uh, visiting her grandma, grandma had a lot of cats, you know, so they had to feed some dogs at the bar. Well, little girl and grandma, they was walking down uh, with the cats, you know, cats running ahead, cats running behind. Little girl says, Grandma, if I was a cat, I would never hold my tail straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.